and welcome to another vlog. It has ha actually been uh, a, over a week since I filmed anything and that is because I took a week off. Um, I did the eHats market and I was intending to film myself reacting to launching the Christmas update and just the eHats market in general, but it was such a whirlwind of a weekend, it was quite crazy. So I did all my updating and getting everything ready for the Christmas launch. I knew I wanted to launch all my Christmas stuff for the weekend of the eHats market, which was last weekend, I believe. Um, but I just had a lot to get ready for that. I had a lot of things to make. Um, my partner Natalie was making a lot. We were listing things, creating mock-ups of things, and it was quite um, a, an intense week prior to the market. And then once we'd launched um, and the eHarts had started, I was absolutely overwhelmed with the amount of orders and love I received and orders from some of you that watch my YouTube channel so I really appreciate that thank you all of you that have ordered and the lovely messages in your orders as well really really made my day and my made my weekend I really appreciate all of it um so the Friday was really mental and if you don't know what the e hearts market is it's Emily Harvey Arts over here on YouTube on Instagram um and over on Patreon, and if you are a Patreon of hers and a small business, you can take part in her eHarts market. She runs them twice a year, I believe. This is the first one I have entered because I've only been a Patreon for a few months with her now. Um, and she basically hosts it on an online platform called Trestle, um, where you have your shop links to there and it's basically like an online market that has all the shops of everyone listed on that page and you can click on them. Um, and a lot of us were hosting kind of different sales for different amounts I had a 10% sale on at the time um, and it was just a, it was just a really good weekend the Friday was really intense everyone goes live on YouTube or Instagram predominantly and you all share lives and things I had not gone live before on Instagram um, and although I do these YouTube videos I did find it quite um, scary to go live and I did go live in the end on the Sunday last minute um, but prior to that, I was really ill. We, my partner and I both came down with another flu. I don't know how it keeps happening. Um, but I was not very well on the run up to the market either. So over the weekend, I was coughing and had just the the end of a cold. So I didn't really want to go live because of that too. Um, but yes, yeah, so the Friday was really mental. The Saturday and Sunday, we decided to redecorate our living room and repaint it, which was a bigger job, as always, as, as we initially thought. We had to remove wallpaper, which took off the layers of paint over the plaster. So then we had to chip off all the paint from the plaster. Then we had to prime the plaster and then eventually get to painting. It's not the best job, but it will do for now. But we decided to do that. So the Saturday and Sunday, we were very much... Um, occupied with that so I didn't really partake in the market as much then but it, it was overall a very good market I believe over that whole weekend plus the week run-up as well I made just shy of £300 in total so it was a very very successful weekend for me and a very successful Christmas launch so far but if you do want to check out my Christmas launch we have a lot of products available they're all behind me here we've got felted items snowmen um felted tree topper fairy tree toppers um baubles all sorts anyway there's a lot of things out there so please go and check that over on my website www.lucyloxart.com um and then since then i've had an absolute influx of pet portrait portrait commissions if i can get my words out um for christmas um a few of them i've been told they're not desperate for christmas but i'd really like to get them done for christmas so that i can almost close off my commissions for now so they are closed on my website so I'm afraid if you are thinking of getting one I no longer have them open I just cannot take any more in I think I had a total of at one point I had a total of seven or eight um we are now down to the final four <laughs> so I've made good progress and um this weekend is currently Sunday this weekend I managed to finish this one um which I'm really pleased at and this bearded dragon as well just finished those two so um i'm getting on track i've got two more sketched out uh, not sketched out i've got two more reference photos printed so i've got this lovely spaniel here um and then this lovely chap which i think are really cute so i've got those two to do i then have an a4 commission 
um, of a gorgeous staffy and I'm really excited to do that one and then I actually have a botanical painting I've been commissioned to do um, someone on Instagram saw my botanical paintings of the mushrooms and really really liked them um, and, and commissioned me to do a, a painting of their fig tree so I'm excited to do that um, but they are the final four so we are very much in the full swing um, it's currently Sunday, like I said, and the, this weekend coming is actually another weekend Christmas market, the final Kirkstall Abbey market of the year. And then I actually have two more markets after that um, in a couple of weeks. So we are very much restocking. We sold out of the uh, mushroom felted earrings and we are dwindling on a stock of a few other things and I need to fold up wrapping paper and all sorts of things so i've got natalie's just off camera doing a little bit of um a little bit of stock checking for me so we can start printing out more cards etc um but it is full on at the moment and i do apologize for not filming any of the hats but hopefully you'll get your fix of stall prep market prep and just general restocking of things this week so i thought i would open the vlog give you an update and we will now get on with restocking things <laughs> Thank you. 
it is currently Monday the 20th and I have just been at work. I've been slowly chipping away at one of my inkings though, let me get you it. And on my lunch break, I managed to get a good chunk of this one done. As you can see, it is a very, very fluffy spaniel. I'm really proud of this one. I think it's turning out really nice and I'm managing to get through this quite quickly. I did have an inquiry today for an, an A4 pet portrait commission, as I said in the last clip. Um, I have closed my commissions, however, um, that's Mabel ringing to go outside. She's learned how to open the back door, which is very frustrating, so we've had to lock it. Um, and now the pets are fighting. It's a madhouse here. Um, yes, yeah, so I got an inquiry for an A4 commission which i was going to decline because i have closed my commissions but i'm going to see if i can shift a few commissions about and hopefully fit them in um but we'll we'll have to see i said i'd get back to them um regarding that so, so we'll have to see um also apologies for my appearance i've just been to rounders training so we've got the hair up and the gym clothes on anyway the reason i'm popping on is because now don't shoot the messenger <laughs> but i know i know as a small business shopping black friday with big organizations like amazon is very taboo and i am an advocate for shopping small for christmas and i have done most of my shopping with small businesses for my family and my partner natalie however however i needed to invest in the business and the Black Friday sales did allow me to buy a few things for the business such as a thermal printer. So I have a huge box here and for once it's actually full of things. It's not just a big box with a tiny little box within it. Um, we do have a bunch of things I ordered. So um, to start, what have we got? Okay, so to start, we're going to have to take that bell off because it's winding me up. I, when I'm working, all I can hear is this blooming doorbell going. Anyway, um, to start, I purchased another boom arm. So you're currently in a boom arm and that is on my rolly stand, manual standing desk that I have in the middle of the room. However, my desk over there that has my computer, um, I sit at that quite a lot and sometimes I like to just film there if I don't want to have to set up elsewhere and I need to be near my computer and so I bought another boom arm to put on that desk as well so I thought that was quite a good investment and then I did buy which is not actually in this box it's overcharging a big set of um kind of like mesh Christmas lights because I thought inside of my gazebo for my outdoor market in the winter it'll be a really lovely little pop of light within the gazebo um so I, I did get that which was marked down and it was very reasonably priced and then onto the main event we have my thermal label printer so i picked up a munbin you'll have seen a lot of youtubers um being gifted or sponsored by munbin and having their newest bluetooth label printer and that is And that is what I have purchased. Let me put it this side so I'm not shadowing my face. Um, so I picked up their Bluetooth Munbin uh, thermal label printer. Um, I was tempted to get it in the pink. However, my branding is all purple. <laughs> it is all purple, but I don't have the huge smart purple in this room. I do have a lot of computer stuff and, you know, lighting and it's all black or white or gray and so i went for their black and white thermal printer i just went very basic i just it just seemed to be the more logical option because i don't actually have any pink in here i just have purple so having the black and white or black and gray i think it is just made the most sense to fit in with my decor the purple is here and it is my branding but there isn't the largest amount of it i've not painted a wall purple i don't have all of my storage bins are not purple it's just the odd bit of purple so black and white i went for so that's that which we will set up shortly i then also got a label holder um which i did go black with that as well so that was going to match the printer itself i picked up i didn't actually go for their munbin thermal labels because someone advised that these trip last were just as good but cheaper so i picked up i think there's 250 here 
um, to start me off because I'm not making that many sales. So um, I'm making enough to have a thermal printer, but not enough to have hundreds and hundreds of thermal labels. I then also picked up some rounds here in, in purple. Um, and I do have some rounds in white that are still to come. I think they're coming tomorrow. So that is my Black Friday Amazon haul. Please forgive me for buying in the Amazon sale, but sometimes you've got to invest in your business and this is how I could do it. It was cheaper to do it that way. Um, so I did. So I am going to set these up. So I'm thinking of extending some of my shelving units in here just by one. I have the side because I cut them up. If you saw my um, IKEA hack video from a while ago, I'll try and remember to, to link it up here. Um, I do have another side that I can put on there. I just need a top and I need to fix on some bracing um, to extend this tabletop. And that's where this will sit. But for now, we're going to set it up next to my mystery balls machine that sat really nicely here. Um, and we're going to have a play with it. I have an order. I did forget to mention that I am currently doing another online market. And I believe this video will still will go up during that online market. It's running for six days, um, from Monday the 20th till... I think Friday or Saturday and it's on Trestle as well like the eHats market there's a lot less people taking part in this so I've been trying to promote it where I can but I have made one sale from it so even if even if I don't make any other sales I think I've, I've it's paid the sale I have made has paid for the market I paid for so it, it is what it is it's all worth a try but that's currently on so if you do want to go and check out and check the other artists and makers and creators on there um, I will try and remember to link it in the description below. But if not, it is linked in the bio of my Instagram um, at Lucy Looks Art. So do try and go over there if you can and support where you can or at least share. It helps massively if you share and it helps massively to shop small for Christmas if you can. I know it's very difficult and sometimes shopping small is a lot more expensive. I do um, know that and I am aware of that, but it does massively help us and sometimes you know, I know I've spent money on Amazon and it's sounding a little bit hypocritical, but the money you spend for pe for big corporations like Amazon is just a drop in the ocean, whereas spending that money with a small business can sometimes change a small business's life. So if you can do that or even just share the heck out of posts and promote for them, you know, it's all massive help. But anyway, enough waffling, enough self-promo and enough saying what I've bought from Amazon. Um, let's set this Munbin printer up and see what we can do with it, I'm excited. <laughs> So <clears throat> I stopped filming because I've set it up, but uh, basically the box was missing the power adapter and the power cord. So I've had to message Amazon, which then told me I had to message Munbin. So now we are waiting to see when they respond, if they respond. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send the whole thing back and reorder it. So that's where we're at. We can't use the damn thing, <laughs> but it looks nice. It looks nice. So this is what I was saying before was that... <laughs> Don't mind the mess. I've had to put the bin up here because Mabel, our puppy, keeps stealing things from my bin. So it's now higher up. But basically, I have another one of these because these are actually cut in half, which I'm going to put that side. I'm going to cut all my, my boards and everything down and clear out my canvas area here so that it's 
lower than that then I'm going to get a new top and I have a brace for the back and that will become a new surface. I'm going to swap my work computer over to that side and my personal computer slash business computer over to this side and then hopefully the thermal printers can sit on the top here and be automatically connected to my laptop but it is looking nice it's just a shame I can't actually use it yet but it looks nice it looks a lot more compact than I was expecting I'm really pleased with this and I'm excited to put my second roll on there and then we have rolls there and sheets for my um postage labels there so i'm excited about this i think it'll be good it's just a shame i can't use it right now but hopefully i get a response as soon as possible and we can get to using it very soon um but we have a freddy down here <laughs> he's being very needy aren't you yes you are yes anyway i'm gonna go to bed i'm tired i'm a bit frustrated we're going to get this boy to bed and put the pup to sleep and hopefully we can restart again tomorrow. Wednesday the 22nd this video I'm intending to go up today so hopefully that happens and um, but I thought I would end the vlog here not much has happened in the vlog it's the problem is it's dark oh, as we all know the clocks went did they go back or did they go forward anyway it gets dark super early now filming quality is terrible because it's always overcast and it's just terrible lighting to film anything I've really tried to do better lighting I've got this new light here that you're currently on which is improving the lighting here i've noticed on this video um i've got plenty of lights but it, it just doesn't i don't know i need to clean my studio my studio is an absolute state i have a market this weekend and it's a mess from restocking and redoing stuff i sold out of my felted mushroom earrings as you saw i was restocking those but i've only made three of them so 
Um, I actually put those up this morning, so I'm I'm assuming this one person who asked for them will be purchasing after work, so that's that will only leave me with two for the market this weekend. Um, I've been painting discs, I've been doing all of that, and basically it's just been a lot of restocking as well as doing my pet portrait commission. So in the space of a week, a week and a half, if we include the last portrait I did, I sent one of them off, which was an A5 of a lovely um, Labrador. And then I, uh, if you're Natalie's nieces, look away now, unless this is after Christmas, um, I inked this lovely uh, bearded dragon called Bella. Um, so that is going to the lovely Emily for her 10th birthday. Um, then I've just finished these two. So this is a pair that will be going to their owners. I'm framing these two. Uh, this, just looking at there, I need to define the face a little bit more here. But anyway, these two are pretty much done. I just need to sign them, fixative them. I've been waiting for my fixative to come in. But I managed to get those two done. Finished that last one at lunchtime today. Um, I've not filmed a lot of it because it's just the same things. It's boring, it's repetitive. But I accepted a last minute extra commission on top of the other two that I still have. Um, so I'm just doing that one because it's an A4, so it's going to take me a little bit longer. So that's this reference here. Really, really beautiful, beautiful dog. Then I have this one to do as well. Um, and then I have a botanical painting to do. And then on top of that, a friend that a friend asked me to do another inking i said i was full for christmas so they're wanting it as soon as possible after after christmas so i said in the new year i can get that done so she'll be ordering that so it's been a really hectic month for commissions um but i'm ever so grateful for it it um it becomes very tedious but i do enjoy them in the end once i've finished them and i see the finished product and i'm really proud of how they look um i think they look good so i'm really excited about those but it's been a lot of doing that, so I apologise for not a very interesting vlog again. And I know this is after a week off, but I'm going to head to Ikea tonight because I would like to just add a little bit more storage to my room. Um, Mum, if y'all are watching this, I apologise. I can't help it. There needs to be more storage. There's too much stuff in here. Um, but I, I'm going to get that. So the next vlog will start off with... If I remember, I'll film a bit in Ikea, but it'll start off with me organising this room because it really needs organising. Um, and hopefully that'll be a bit more interesting in the next vlog. But I appreciate you watching. And if you've made it this far, thank you very, very much. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next vlog. Um, so goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, this is Fred's. Fred's, say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, he's got his tongue out. <laughs> he's got his tongue out. <laughs> goodbye.